is Keely Newman. Today's date is August 29th. The week's quote is trust people and they will be true to you. Treat them greatly and they will show themselves great. A strange but interesting fact about the U.S. is that there is enough concrete in Hoover Dam to stretch across the entire country. Every day thing we do in school is the Pledge of Allegiance. So how about we do the pledge? Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Hello, Stauffer Middle School. This is Mrs. Hayes, the seventh grade counselor, coming to give you more information about our Stauffer handbook. So, what are we going to cover today? We are going to cover dress code, attendance, and snack and lunch procedures. Dress code. Make sure that whatever you wear adheres to a positive school climate and is safe. Positive school climate and is safe. Make sure that anything that you wear, clothing, hair, in your hair, accessories, that they are respectful to everyone and are in line with good citizenship. Students have to be in dress code at all extracurricular school-related activities. So after school, before school, um, when you're on another campus for extracurricular um, school-related activities on a field trip, you need to be in dress code. Attendance. We expect all students to make their best effort to attend school every day and on time. We expect, we need you to be here to learn. You are required by law to attend school regularly and promptly. And it is the responsibility of your parents or guardians to make sure that they let the school know the first day you are absent. What are your responsibilities when you're absent? As a student, you need to make sure that you go on Canvas and see what assignments have been given. You need to make sure you email teachers with questions. You need to make sure that you remind your parent or guardian to call in that absence to the office. And don't forget, iReady still needs to be done. Now, what are the procedures for snack and lunch? You get a 13-minute snack and a 30-minute lunch. Everyone gets a snack and everyone gets a lunch. How do they know that you've gotten your snack or your, your lunch? You're using your ID number and you're putting it in the keypad. Do not share your ID number. I repeat, do not share your ID number. Now, you can use the cafeteria, you can use the snack cart, or we have our new Spartan Cafe to get food. Treats are extra. Now, you can have your parents put money in your cafeteria account, or you can bring cash. Please make sure that when you bring cash, that you don't have it all crumpled up or that you throw it at your cafeteria worker. It's important that you show respect. 
What are procedures for snack and lunch? Eat your lunch or your food or your snack in the quad. Eat it in the quad. Food is not permitted in classrooms, hallways, the library, or in the fields. I'm going to repeat that. Food is not permitted in the classrooms, hallways, library, or fields. When the bell rings, student must leave immediately to go to class. Don't hang out and continue talking. When the bell rings, you get up and you start going to class. Hallways are closed during snack and lunch. Hallways are closed during snack and lunch. You can't wait for the teacher to get there during snack or lunch. You need to go out to the fields, to the basketball courts, to the quad. Or you can go to the library. Kindness matters. Treat your teachers with respect. Treat the cafeteria workers with respect. Treat security personnel with respect. Treat your fellow students or peers with respect. Kindness and respect is a choice. Please choose wisely. That's it for today. Your mission will be tomorrow. See ya! I'm so glad all that study and after school work paid off. I finally got an A on a test. Hey, Mateo, did you know it's anti-bullying week? No, I didn't. Why? It's to spread awareness about people bullying others and hurting people's feelings. Oh, I didn't know that. Why, did you do something? Yeah. What did you do? I tripped someone while they were walking down the stairs. Why would you do that? Because I was mad that they got a better grade than me. That's no reason to bully others. You should really go apologize. That was kind of rude. Yeah. What did you get on the test? Can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. So what did you want to talk about? I just wanted to say that I was sorry for tripping you down the stairs earlier. It's okay. I forgive you. But you should be aware that you can really mess with somebody's feelings. You don't know what's going on in their life. Spartans, remember, it's anti-bullying week, and we do not respect bullying around here. Remember to always be kind. You never know what somebody's going through. Once again, my name is Keely Newman, and this week's quote is, Trust people, and they will be true to you. Treat them greatly and they will show themselves great. Remember to read, lead, and succeed. Have a wonderful day, Spartans.